the elements really haven't been kind to us, and this situation just continues. It seems as if we are stuck in some bad weather, and we can't get out of it. High waves keep rocking our boat back and forth, side to side. The constant motion numbs the mind. Everybody on board feels that, but it is especially true for the watch crew. They have a very difficult task, trying to stay awake and alert up there on the conning tower in a wet and cold environment where everything on the horizon is in a constant flux, always moving up and down. It is no wonder then that when they finally do spot the ship approaching our course, it is just a few kilometers away. The general alarm is sounded, everybody rushes to their stations, we turn towards the target and speed up. Hello there, and welcome to a new episode of our Silent Hunter 3 campaign, where we play as U55 in the GWX1 Alex Edition mod compilation. Now, following up from last video, we are still in some really terrible weather and it's rocking the boat a lot, as you might be able to see. And if we go topside, it is dark, although it is getting brighter very fast, I think the sun might be coming over the horizon pretty soon. And we did spot a ship in this little storm here. So let's have a look at this. Yeah, Give me a bearing going. to the ship. Bearing 334. Oh, it's right over in that direction. Where are they? 334. No, there it is. Why are you saying 334? Are there? There might be another one. Okay, I gotta be a bit careful then. Don't know what the second one is. Confirm that, please, watch officer. Do we really have a ship at 334? 335 now, range 4500. Visual. I see it. It is not emitting smoke, so I don't know what's up with that might be an escort. I have to be careful. There is something very small over there. Yeah, it's. I can now start to see it. I don't know what I'm looking at here. That looks... That looks like a potential target and I can see that the flag in the back is red. So this might indeed be a British ship that we are going to attack. But now that there is another ship in front which could be an escort. I might have to modify my approach here. I was on a nice intercept course. But this might not be feasible right now. Let's uh, get over where we bought. Wind speed 13 meters per second. So that means we will have to set our torpedoes to run fairly deep. When I look at this thing, I'm not even sure that this will work out. I want to avoid a repeat of last episode, where all that we had were duds. Give me depth on the keel. Just 40 meters. To put things into perspective, let me show you where we are. We are off the Scottish coast, not too far from shore, not too far from some harbors and yeah, very likely destroyer patrols. I am aware that there is a minefield off the English coast on its um, eastern side. I just don't know where exactly it is, and I'm I'm quite afraid of that. Am I near it? I don't know. Is it close to the shore? I think so. I think I'm good in this area, but I can't say for sure. Anyway, oh, that was a bad time to come up here. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let me try to get another look at the ship that is in front. There's the ship in back. There. Right in the middle of the screen. It might indeed be an escort. If that is indeed an escort, then I really need to modify my approach. Turn in towards it. Oh my 
my god, these waves. This turbo robot is just so... Oh god. Guys, I hope you're all shackled to something. I don't want you guys to be swept overboard by these waves. And we are sailing quite fast. Our batteries are full, we have more than enough fuel, so this is perfectly fine. We can afford to burn some of it. I really need to get a good idea of what I'm facing in front of me. Slow down the boat. Bring the user to the bridge. Let's see if we can get a good look on this. That flag tells me everything that I need to know. That's a warship. The white ensign. Yeah, okay. We do need to modify our approach. Head for that ship. Slow down the boat even more. I suspect that I'm looking at a torpedo boat or something of that nature. Yeah, this is the English East Coast early on in the war. Occasionally you will find single merchants or very small convoys. And since the British do not have enough destroyers at this point, they will literally use anything, including torpedo boats. And yes, we are having a bad time on this submarine with this weather and these waves, but I really wouldn't want to trade with those guys on a torpedo boat. That must be an absolutely terrifying experience. I'm keeping a good eye on them. Should I maybe dive and try to approach underwater? Uh, this is risky what I'm doing here. Do they have a hydrophone? I don't think so. They are, after all, just, just in big roads, just a torpedo boat. I don't think that we are looking at the sub chaser or something like that. Increase speed. Let's try to stay surfaced for a little bit longer. And let's try to get the speed of the ship that I'm looking at. Turn the boat a bit. Let's prepare. I have to keep a careful eye on these guys. If they should turn towards me, I will have to dive. I'll have to dive extremely fast. Okay, user to the front. Let's prepare to take the speed of this ship. Estimation for the ship's length. Man, that's not a big ship. I'm not even giving it 100 meters. I think slightly below 100 meters is the length of that ship. Come on. Damn it. Missed the start the clock in time. I'll have to add a few seconds. That's fine though. These waves. They're making it so, so, so difficult. Stop the clock. 23 seconds. Let's do, use this chart. So, 23 seconds. So something between 20 and 25 at a ship's length of about 100 meters. I think slightly less. So we are looking at possibly 8 knots. Let's dial that in for now. But first of all, let's take a look at a torpedo boat. Still on course, did not turn to us. Good. Dial in 8 knots. 
I will have to take another measurement to confirm that. Let's have a good look at this ship. Is this even worth it? With these waves I will have to set the torpedo to a depth of five and a half meters. And I will use the steam propelled torpedo because it's night time. Torpedo depth five and a half. Come on. Impact pistol as ordered by BDU. Torpedo speed. Let's give it medium. User to the front. Prepare for a speed reading. But the waves will of course screw me over again. Ready, start the clock. This was a good start for the clock. I'm looking at an AOB of the targets. Close, close to 90. Dial that in. Oh, come on waves, don't do that right now. Stop. Once again 23, seems to be about right. Stay turning. Oh, God. Range to target. Decreasing. That's the damn torpedo boat. There it is. It doesn't have a clue about what's going on back here. Okay. Let's pick up speed. Prepare torpedo attack. Turn the belt a bit. Torpedo is set, everything's set. Speed set, range. Range 500, seems about right. Let's verify that. 800 right now, but we will be shooting at 500. AOB, basically 90. Open the tube. Tube open. Torpedo. Let's give it a bit more time. Fire! Okay, let's turn away. Damn it. Flank speed, let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm trying to spot the torpedo's wake. That's not easy though. No, impossible. But it was a hit. Having Whoa, they are oh sorry. They are gone. That was successful and we are having a bit of a issue with the effects here. So let's go ahead and take a look like this. Yeah, the effects are bugging out a bit, I don't know why. There we go. You can see what I mean. But this thing is certainly going down. Very nice. And you can see the massive hole in its side. Wait for it. There it is. So that torpedo hits straight into... Not sure what's up with the effects not being visible from a specific angle. But I do see, and I have to be aware of that, I do see the torpedo boat coming around. Yeah, it's behind me. Now it is running away time. My best guess is that... Um, loop, loop. <laughs> My best guess is that the torpedo's wake was spotted. So they know the direction. That the torpedo was fired from. 
they're moving in to investigate. I can imagine that they have a few depth charges on board, which they might go ahead and drop soon. We'll take a really quick moment to check what we actually sank. We sank a medium oiler Type 3 of 3188 tons. That's not too shabby. That's the smallest ship of this patrol that we sank, but nonetheless, it's a good thing that we did it. Okay, Torpedo Bird's still behind us. Get the user off the bridge, we don't need that anymore. We might be forced to dive. Let's see if we can escape this. Let's come 20 degrees to the right. Try to present a very narrow profile to that torpedo boat. My god, these waves. Okay. And now the effects are working as they should. Okay. That's good then. Damn, that thing is really going up like a fuck. Well, isn't this weird? Look at this. If anybody knows what might be causing this and has some um, advice how to avoid it, please do tell me. Yeah. Very weird indeed. But okay. Let's not focus on that. Let's focus on the torpedo boat behind us. Now, I'm in a really good position here. I have this thing directly behind me. And they are also on the bright side, so towards the bright horizon. From their point of view, I am not silhouetted against the dark horizon on this side. So that's really good. Turn a bit more right. I am presenting a very narrow profile, and my exhaust smoke is obscuring the view a bit as you can see right now that can also help of course I'm not sure if this is perfectly modeled in the game but in real life this was a tactic that was used present the stern and uh, kick the engines into full gear the exhaust smoke will help to mask the view good it doesn't look as if they have spotted us. They are racing basically towards the position where we fired from, or along the track of the torpedo, I should say. But they won't find us there, because immediately after shooting the torpedo, I turned the boat around. And this is what you should do too. Never stick around for the enemy to react. Always be proactive get out of there as fast as you can. And I'm happy that we succeeded. I don't think they'll be catching us now. We are steaming southwards, that's fine. I wanted to go that way anyway. So I'll make a small cut here. And let's hope that the torpedo boat will not be able to find me before I can open up the distance sufficiently. So. I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back. So, sunrise is imminent. The torpedo boat was not able to acquire us visually, so we managed to get in, fire a torpedo, hit the target and get out. Without being spotted, without being engaged without a big risk to ourselves. So, pretty much a perfect attack if you ask me. Alright, I think that shall be it for today's episode. Let's go in here, it's a bit more quiet. And I would like to thank you for watching this campaign series so far. It has been quite an amazing journey already. We went from a Type 2 submarine to this awesome Type 7 submarine that we have now. And we still have three more torpedoes on board before we set sail for home. 
it's a really stark contrast compared to the Type 2, where we had five torpedoes on board total. Incredible, really. Really incredible. So, once more, thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed today's episode and that you might share it around a bit so that more people get to experience this amazing stuff. Until next week, have some really great days and goodbye.